Joe, I guess first off here, what is what is Michigan's uh, offense showing you guys on on tape, and how are you guys going to have to prepare for them? I mean, uh, like Coach Stock said, we've been watching a lot of Bama film, you know, just because the offensive coordinator switched over. So um, we're expecting a lot of that stuff that they that they did there. Also, you know, a lot of the things kind of tie in together. So I mean, we're pretty much just trying to you know take a little bit here and there, and you know, really key in on the Michigan players while we can right now. They have one of the most uh, talented wide receiver cores in the nation. What do they do specifically on the outside that makes them pretty tough? I mean, they got a lot of bigger size guys, you know, uh, possession receivers, stronger guys, um, you know, um, you know, read option, you know, trying to get the ball to them, having a lot of safeties come down the run fast and, and pulling it. So, I mean, that's pretty much their scheme, but, you know, we're just going to focus on that and, and do what we can. You know, I know last year you kind of had a little bit of injury problems. A lot of people on defense had injury problems. What, what is about this season, a new season, that you're kind of getting excited about, kind of like a new lease on life kind of a thing? Like, what is it you excited I mean, about? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was an injury problem. You know, I, go, I went into the season knowing I was going to red shirt. So, um, I wouldn't really say injury problem. I've been healthy. And, um, I mean, I feel like, you know, everybody's ready to play. The team's ready to play. The guys are healthy. You know, we're ready to finally see what we can do. We've been working, you know, saying all year pretty much for this. So, I mean, guys are ready to get back to the season and get things going. You're going against the quarterback in Shea Patterson. He can run, he can throw, he can really do it all. I mean, how do you go about containing a guy like that? I mean, we're going to do what we do. Uh, Coach Schaefer loves the blitz, you know, uh, you know, just trying to do what we do. Um, you know, we run a lot of zone and man, whatever he wants to do going into this week. Uh, and just, you know, doing, doing, being accountable to our ability for the most part. Uh, Javante, do you like being the underdog? I mean, we've always been an underdog. Like Coach Stock said, we play about three of these games a year. So, I mean, most of them we go in being an underdog. I mean, it's kind of – you're not really expecting much. So, anything you come out from is really – you know, it's really here or there. So, I mean, I feel like for the most part of the team, we're going to come out there with a lot of confidence, um, a lot of morale. And um, being an underdog is, is no thing for us because we're used to being that going into every season. So, do you, do you feel like it motivates the team, though, to open the season, playing a game that nobody probably outside the locker room thinks you're going to win? Uh, in a sense, I would say it does, you know. Uh, we won a couple of these games since I've been here, you know, Syracuse, Mizzou. So I say uh, it builds confidence, you know, going into the game. And a lot of guys are more energetic. But, I mean, for the most part, I would say everybody should go into the game, you know, feeling the same as they would going against TSU next week or whatever the case may be. So, um, you know, all in all, I'll say, yeah, more to so, yes. How, how do you approach this trip? Is, is it a business trip alongside of, you know, appreciating the history, I guess, of college football and – the big house and kind of, you know, taking it in, so to speak, for a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's always a business trip when we're going to play ball. But, um, I mean, I don't think a lot of guys know the history of it. You know, a lot of guys are really just, you know, ready to go play football. I don't think they know about, you know, other than all the fans, you know, being at the stadium and all that stuff that they have. But I don't really know if guys actually know more of the history side of the stadium. Um, they're just ready to play college football starting up. I mean, there's not really much more you can ask for. Do you yourself know a ton about Michigan? I mean, just watching them on TV? Or I mean, yeah. You're going to learn, yeah, you're gonna learn you, too? Yeah, you're gonna, I'm pretty much learning as I go. I mean, other than just learning since we, you know, started, you know, getting uh, a lot of questions about them. But I, I haven't really known much other than this is a big stadium. Yeah, you, you won the East last year, a really good team, and you, and you bring back a good team. What, what do you like most about this group of guys to, to where you think you guys can go this season? I mean, you see a lot of guys doing a lot of extra work, and uh, especially with the defense, we have a lot of guys coming back. Like Coach said, um, we're still trying to figure things out and, and you know, build build that, that connection around with everybody. So, I mean, everything's going good. Everybody's happy and excited and ready to get it rolling. And uh, it'll all start tomorrow with Tuesday's practice. Um, you're a senior this year. What kind of made that different about this off season? And does that make this uh, first game week any different for you? Uh, not really. I kind of approached it like I did last year. You know, I worked just as hard as I did this season going into last year when I knew I was playing those four games. So. Uh, for me, it's not really a big deal. Uh, I'm ready to play football. I'm going to treat every game the same. You know, and, uh, I'm just ready to play. Uh, Will, you guys broken a new quarterback this off season? Just kind of how did it go, and what did you see from the three guys, uh, Randall, Chase, and, and Asher? Uh, it was really good. Those guys, um, I mean, as long as we're good up front, it doesn't really matter what they do back there because it all starts with us and just how they perform. It just really goes with us and how far we go with them. Uh, I'm, I might be wrong on this, but it's, I think it's two returning starters on the offensive line this year. There's a lot more guys coming in and out, you know, lose some of the leadership. You know, is there something exciting about kind of having a new group of guys in there? Is there any challenges that come with that at all? 
Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's really exciting because all of us, this is our all of us, this is our first start in college football, so it's pretty crazy. But I feel like there's not as much pressure as it would be as if we were all returning because we can all just play loose and just go as hard as we can go. Well, they play a lot in the box. It's like Coach said, they play a lot of man coverage. So, really, we just got to play with our great eyes and just really good discipline and then just trust everything we do. They have some really good interior defensive line. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of where you guys are focusing in on? Is that where the strength you guys think is, is coming through? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. Um, we just got to play under, under their pads. I think they play real low, and if we just get under them, I think we'll be all right. As a lineman, do you look forward to going up against the, the big guys up front with Michigan that, I mean, that could hear their name called at April's draft? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's always exciting because we get to go against those guys, and those guys could be playing on Sunday. So it's really a test for us, and we can just go around and fly around and have fun. So, I asked Javante this. I'll ask you, you like being the underdog? Well, I mean, yeah. It's always good going in there and not, people not really thinking a lot of us because that's really how it's been for the majority of us all of our lives. I mean, we just, we just want to go in there and play hard and just – play 60 minutes, just like Coach said, and just see what happens. I mean, that's attractive, though, to come here to Middle Tennessee to play mm -hmm. Michigan and Iowa and Alabama, right? I mean, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's better than playing, you know, FCS schools, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Because it's always it's just, it's just a test, you know. It's just – especially in the beginning of the season because we get to see what we're all about and what kind of team we are, see how hard we're going to go, no matter who we play.